the glow up for these men today <laughs> is real. And the downfall of these women today is just as real. Let me start off by saying this. Shout out to all of the great women out there that appreciate the good man that they have. The man that did not mind sacrificing for her, loving her, committing to her, settling down with her, marrying her. Shout out to you ladies and salute to you ladies that understood how blessed you really were to have that man and not take him for granted. Because unfortunately, there are a lot of guys out there that have given a woman their all, right? Everything a woman could ever ask for, dream for, pray for, hope for, wish for, he's given to her. He's given her the family. He's given her the marriage. He's given her the commitment. He's given her the stability and security, the loyalty, the longevity. And it meant nothing. Why? Because unfortunately, there are a lot of females out there that do take those type of men for granted. They have it in, in their mind that if they can have him, surely they can get another. Surely they can get a bigger and better version of what they already are blessed to be with. But it doesn't happen that way. Corey and Tia are a prime example of that being a thing. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Fellas, I want y'all to know this because there are a lot of instances to where you guys have given your all to a woman and it ultimately ended up being in vain right? And a lot of you all can start to feel defeated in that way and feel like, you know, it's a lost cause and, you know, settling down is just not something that's feasible or wise to do, right? But I want you all to know this. Sometimes that woman leaving you is a blessing in disguise, right? So don't beat yourself up too much. She could actually be somebody that is hindering you from progression. She could also be somebody that is blocking you from the authentic, genuine, kind woman, loving woman, the woman of your dreams that you are supposed to be with. So don't worry, fellas. I know a lot of guys can feel a way about that, like, dang, I gave her my all and she still left me and, you know, I, I did all of this for her and it wasn't good enough. Don't worry about it. Some things are not falling apart. They're actually falling into place. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Tia, right? Tia made the grand and grave mistake of believing that her good man was not good enough. A man that, again, gave her his entire life, right? Gave her his best. And she threw it away. Now we see Tia on social media really spiraling which one could conclude that she is the one that is the problem because if you were leaving behind this thing this marriage right this thing to you that there was nothing and this man that was holding you back and you're not flourishing after that right? Could it be that you ultimately were the problem? Serious question. Tia's of the world really have it in their minds, oh no, 
I'm the best. I'm the greatest. I can do better than this. All I need to do is get rid of. And once they do decide to get rid of, and they're still stuck and stagnant, looking stupid, well, who's to blame now? What's the common denominator? The common denominator is then you, especially when we see the things, the people that were supposedly holding you back, flourishing now that you left. So again, fellas, sometimes it's a, be a blessing in disguise. It's not something that is to beat yourself up over and, you know, make yourself feel ashamed. No, let her go. If you're not being appreciated, if she's not seeing your value, let it go. Because that could actually be doing you a favor. Now, let's take a look at Tia, y'all. And again, y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. This is Tia with her twin. Okay? Tia is on the left. Her twin, Tamara, is on the right. Tamara is still in her happy marriage. She's still in her happy family and flourishing. And we can see it on her face. We can see the very stark difference in appearance alone due to lifestyle choices. Tia's face, and this is just me peeping game, y'all. When I came across this picture on Tia's uh, Instagram, I said, whoa, this is something to highlight and acknowledge. Tia's face looks worn, okay? And she's still a beautiful woman. And I'm not going to take that away from her. But her face, she looks worn. She looks tired, right? Especially in comparison to her sister, who is our twin, right? If you look at Tamara, she looks very youthful, right? She looks very happy. She looks at peace. Her eyes are brighter. Whereas Tia, her face is just like she's coping, like she's just trying to get through the day. Eyes, very low, very lazy. Again, which signifies she's probably not getting enough sleep. She's stressed out. She's worried. Her smile is very faint. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really thought that this was highlight worthy to really illustrate the fact that your lifestyle does matter. Your decisions do play a heavy role on you. They do take effect on you. And you can see it even in your outer appearance. Now, I went on to Tia's Instagram and it's the same old thing, you all, to be honest with you. It, it, it's the same thirsty for attention, thirsty for a validation type of content. You know what I mean? That's what it gives. And I get it. As women, you know, we, we like to show off our bodies and show off our curves and feel sexy and look good. And, and I'm not faulting that, right? Hell, I do that myself. But for Tia to be a newly divorced woman who was in her 40s with children, you had your husband, you know, you had everything already pretty much solidified for you to now be resorting to this. Doing TikTok videos and throwing it back in circles. It, I, I just, I feel like it's such a, a huge fall from grace. I really do. Now, I don't know if this music is copywritten or not, so I'm going to mute this. But nonetheless, I want you all to just really pay attention to what she is having to resort to doing for, you know, attention from men. Um, I don't know, to feel better about herself. You know, her current circumstances and situation screams, I messed up. And since I know I messed up, let me go on social media and pretend that everything is all good. Pretend I'm feeling my best. I'm looking my best. I'm doing my best. Let me try to distract myself 
That's what it's giving. It's giving distraction. Distraction and, you know, thirst for attention. That's what it's giving. And I just want us to look at this and then get into how Corey and his life is unfolding. But let's pay attention. I'm going to mute this video, but I'm going to blow it up for y'all so y'all can see this. And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Now, I believe that Tia is what, damn near 50 years old, 45 years old. And this is what she's having to do as a newly divorced woman. Mind you, she already had a good quality husband, a good quality marriage. She just felt like she missed out. She felt like she can do better than him. She took him for granted. But look at her sorry self now. Look at how pitiful this is as an overgrown woman with children. This is what she's doing now. Let me mute this. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Look how goofy this is. Why, Tia? Look at this. Why? Why? Why do you have to do this, Tia? This is what you're doing in your later years of life. You're twerking and throwing that ass in a circle. On Instagram? Forget it. Let's play the music, y'all. Let's just let's just see this. Bounce on this shit. No hand. Bounce on this shit. Bounce on this shit. And, and she says, my back. Which indicates that you're old, Tia. Go sit down. You're too old for this. My neck, my neck and my back. You're too old. Your knees probably cracking. You're not making the stallion, uh, Tia. You're making the stallion's auntie. Go sit down. But again, this is the sorry outcome of a chick thinking that, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a hot girl still, even though I'm knocking on 50. Yeah, I'm a hot girl still. I can do better than my husband. I'm a hot girl. This is what you got to do. And then we're going to get into what Corey is up to. He's flourishing without you. I wonder why. Could it be, Tia, that you were ultimately the problem? Let's continue. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my hoe phase right now. Happiness over everything. Where's your mind? Now, Tia is on here talking about she's in her hoe phase now. And she gives the acronym of happiness over everything, right? That's her hoe phase. Where's your mind? But as a game peeper, I see right through this. And again, y'all like the video. I see right through this. When Tia comes on here trying to troll and say, oh, yeah, I'm in my whole phase. I really do feel like Tia feels like she's in her whole phase now because she never got the opportunity to have one because she was married in her 20s. This is why she ultimately, in my opinion, divorced Corey. She divorced Corey so she can be in her whole phase. So she's trying to make this play on words like, oh, no, it don't mean whole like that. I, I mean whole as in, you know, my happiness is over everything. But let's not get it twisted, y'all. Tia is absolutely in these damn streets because this is what she chose for herself. She felt like she was missing out by being married. So, yes, yeah, she's absolutely feeling like she's in her 304 phase. Make no doubt about it. And this is her trying to troll by saying, oh, get your mind out the gutter. I'm not talking about a 304 like that. I'm talking about, you know, H-O-E as in happiness over everything. No. And, and as quiet as kept you all, a lot of these chicks, they think that the happiness is in the streets. Being loose, wild and free is her happiness. And I'll place that over everything, even my husband, even my marriage. Even my family, my children. Peep the game, y'all. Tia, this is pathetic. Our minds are not in the gutter. 
we're not wishing bad things on you you ma'am and your mind is in the gutter you ma'am are creating bad outcomes for yourself by way of your choices and you thought this, this is the funny part about it you thought that corey was the problem you thought he was hindering you and your progression your success and it looks like it was the other way around now let's get into corey happiness over everything where's your mind where's your husband to you that's the real question let's get into corey he said give him a big intro he Ooh. got it yes i got it <laughs> look at corey corey is just glowed up after tia Mind you, he's the one who wanted to fight for his marriage. He's the one who wanted to stay and work it out for his family because family was over everything for him, Tia. Even if it meant sacrificing his happiness. But jokes on you, Tia, because it's looking like Corey is doing pretty good and he's pretty happy. He's pretty stable. He's flourishing without you. This is what happens when a man figures out, damn, my woman was actually holding me back. I'm trying to fight to work it out and stay when that would have blocked my blessings. Fellas, sometimes that woman that you're fighting so hard to keep around and be with is your biggest hater, your biggest blessing blocker your biggest devil so if somebody wants to leave you take you for granted feel like something is bigger and better out there for them allow them let them do it because you never know it could be your blessing in disguise but let's get into corey now corey now after his divorce is you know just having all kind of different opportunities open up to him and i know this is making tia sick look at corey look he's just happy look he said give him a big intro he Ooh. got it yes i got it thank you <laughs> thank you so much for stepping into the room and talking with us today yes happy bet award season listen happy bet award season how you feeling i am blessed Favored. and highly favored listen you see this coat no nah, i mean it's giving but, i mean it ain't a coat but i just no listen it's marnie shout out to my stylist jason i feel good yeah look at him he said first of all let's peep the game okay let's peep the game and y'all get these likes up he said yeah I'm, I'm doing good doing good peep the coat i mean it's not a coat but i mean it's, look at the drip that right there is a flex in and of itself. He's pretty much saying, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Can't you tell? Look at me. I'm all glowed up now. You got the, the nice drip going on. Like, yeah, I'm doing the damn thing. He said he's blessed. Highly fa favored. While T is out on Instagram throwing it in a circle for her assistant. That's a female trying to get clicks and views. Corey ain't gotta do that. Corey is booked and busy. This is what happens when your woman is blocking you. When your woman is holding you back, not the other way around. I'm blessed. Okay. I got two projects I'm promoting. Oh, and we're gonna get into that. Listen. You might as well go ahead and kick us off. I mean, listen. <laughs> The first one, uh, All American Homecoming, comes out July 8th on the CW. I play yes. Coach Marcus Turner, yes. light skin James Evans. Good times. <laughs> uh, and um, Mr. Tyler Perry's Divorce in the Black, July 11th, yes. on Amazon Prime, starring myself, my sister Megan Good, um, Shannon Joe Taylor, Palador, a lot of great, amazing people. Mr. Richard Lawson, Ms. Debbie Moore. But yes, that movie's incredible, suspenseful thriller. Ooh. Comes out, they got the billboard right down the street. They got so many on Sunset. I got, I'll show y'all the picture if you want to see it. 
Peep the game, y'all. He said, yeah, I'm here. Not only in my drip flossing on y'all because I'm, I'm glowed up now, you know, but also I'm here to promote two projects. What does that say? That says, again, I'm booked and busy. I'm getting to it. I'm not allowing no woman or nothing to get in my way, to hold me back, hold me down. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm flourishing. I'm not going to be out here wallowing in my pity. No, I'm going to get to work. What else did he say? Tia, he says he's on the billboards. Where are you, Tia? Are you on any billboards? Or is your billboard flat back on TikTok and Instagram twerking? And I'm just being silly to you, okay? So don't look. But nonetheless, this to me speaks volumes. This is speaking the volume of, yeah, Corey probably was not the problem. It was Tia all along. It was Tia all along, you are. Not only is he big, he booked and busy, but he's on billboards. He's flourishing, getting new job opportunities while Tia is twerking on Twitter. <laughs> While Tia is coming up with, I'm going to be honest with you, very corny and cheesy. What, what does she have coming? Uh, some kind of re reality TV show? It's just, just corny. But nonetheless, look at, your, look at your ex, Tia. You're not flexing on your ex. Your ex is flexing on you. And again, you are the one that left him. I almost shed a tear in front of that thing, but uh, I'm blessed. God is good. I'm stepping into this, uh, you know, into this purpose. I've been I've been walking in it, but I'm really stepping into this purpose right now. So it feels good. Let's talk about that a little bit. We're going to get back to the films, yeah, we'll but hold on. That was powerful. Yeah. So you're stepping into your purpose. Yes. What exactly is that looking like and what steps are being taken? I'm just dreaming. You know, I'm just yeah, back so to dreaming for a living. You know, not that I never stop, but I'm really, really back to dreaming. And I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> Peep the game with me, y'all. This is why I keep saying this is what happens when, you know, you realize that your woman was the one that was holding you back and you start flourishing without her. If you pay attention to what Corey is saying, he's saying, man, after that, the, that divorce and that woman left me behind thinking that the grass would be greener without me. I'm able to see better now. I'm able to think better now. I'm able to really focus on self, focus on me. I, that woman was actually clouding me. She was casting a shadow over me. Now without her, man, I, I just feel like a brand new person. That is what Corey is essentially saying. He's a brand new him. In the best of ways. And I don't think that he's faking about it. Tia. I, I think you are. Which is why every damn video is talking about how dating life sucks. And you know how you're just trying to cope with your new life and all of this. And trying to do all this self-work and self-improvement. Because you know that you messed up. But Corey on the other hand. It, it really does look like and i can feel it energy is real energy does not lie it really does you know seem like Corey is stepping into his purpose and i feel like that is only happening because tia you made him step outside of the relationship and outside of the marriage with you you were blocking him and again i already know there's so many other men out there that can relate to this you thought that your world was collapsing and crumbling. But again, everything was just collapsing and crumbling and falling right into the, its rightful place. What looked like shambles, what looked like just disaster was actually the building blocks, the bricks that you could utilize to build something bigger, better, newer, fresher. 
And look at you now. Look at Corey. I'm, I'm just going to mute it. Let's mute it, y'all. And again, y'all like the video. Let's mute it and pay attention to, to Corey. This is a, he's, he's cool, calm, collected, you know, drip game up. Look, just, Tia, I know you're sick. Look, look, look at Corey. Look at him. Come on, y'all. Let's peep the game as a family. Corey, good. It was Tia that was the problem. Yeah, I mean, energy don't lie. We can see it. So, I say all that to say this. Ladies, be careful. You think that you're throwing away trash and that you're the treasure. When in all actuality, you are the trash that is taking yourself out. And that man was the treasure. And not only was he the treasure, but he is ultimately the one that is shining bigger and better without you. So again, do, do not make the grave mistake of taking these type of men for granted. Fellas, y'all let me know down in the comment section, because I know a lot of y'all, y'all don't ever get the opportunity to really express yourselves and your grievances and things that, you, that you've gone through. So I really want y'all to let me know down in the comments how many of y'all can relate to Corey, right? To where, you know, you thought your world was falling apart and you were losing the woman of your dreams when in all actuality, when she left you, all different roles opportunities started to open up you felt lighter freer better clear-minded i want y'all to let me know y'all experience and hopefully help other men out there who may be going through the same thing it's some guys right now today that are experiencing a woman trying to level up on them and leave them behind and they really feel lost they really feel confused because it's like damn like I was trying to be the best man for you. I was trying to give you the world and you, you're going to leave me and the crush behind that. And so I need you fellas to drop down in the comments and let these brothers know your testimony to let them know that, look, the grass is greener on the other side for you. It's not the end of the world. Sometimes it's just a new beginning for your new world. Anyway, Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this down in the comment section. Again, ladies, sometimes you are the one that is, I don't know, the bad energy. You are the one that is the plague. You are the one that is holding everything back and keeping everything stuck and stagnant. And so, yeah, probably a good thing that you ended up leaving that man. Hopefully by you leaving him, you can take that time out for yourself to do the internal work for yourself and also give that man the opportunity to explore bigger and better options outside of you. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I respect y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And remember, fellas, sometimes it's not falling apart. It's falling directly into place. Peace.